Oriana Falachi, the wonderful fiery journalist, you know, from Italy. Yeah. She interviewed uh, Khomeini and uh, it's a wonderful uh, piece of reading to, uh, you know, when you read it, that she tore off her black chadar. She was so impatient with him, which actually made him laugh, you know, Khomeini, the only person to ever laugh in front of a non-Western uh, person, you know, non-Iranian uh, woman. And uh, she really grilled him in that interview. She made sure that he came to that interview. Christiana Manpour, I think, is feeling the pulse of what is happening on the ground these days. Uh, I think it's an improvement that now she's refused to uh, uh, you know, do the interview with the hijab and everything. Uh, I think you're referring to reform movements happening. There's a lot of reform happening in uh, Arab nations right now. Like I said, a lot of disgruntled population. A lot of technology has come in. It's not easy to turn off the net these days. People can, you know, navigate yeah. and they can find ways to. So uh, a lot of this uh, revolutionary thing happening in the Middle East is to do with the information flow going on there. People want to know why these things happen. People are getting to know their own history. People are understanding the manipulation of governments and everything. And people want to coexist because at the base of it all, everybody wants to coexist with their neighbors. Look at the line of countries now starting to recognize Israel. Bahrain has sent its ambassador, right? I think Qatar is sending its ambassador. Even Turkey meeting with the Israeli prime minister, right? Yeah. In the recent uh, UN meetings and everything. So, yes, reform is always there. People are always wanting to modernize. People are always wanting to have progressiveness. But now, the question is that the Middle East will be manipulated by the Western powers again. 